Equal question 339, nested list weight sum, and it's a median equal question. So you are giving a nested list of integers. Take a look at the example here, uh, nested of integers. Each element is either an integer or a list whose uh, whose elements may also be an integer or other list. So it could be integer or list or list inside it could also be integer or list inside of a list. There could be multiple layers. So the depth of an integer is the number of lists that is inside of it. So for example, like this one, this is the integer. It doesn't have anything inside. So it's uh, the depth is one. And then for anything that this is a nested list, so the depth is two. And it, they give the example, the nested list, basically, um, this is one, there's no nothing nested inside, and there's one nested inside, the depth is two. And then in this example, you can see the most nested inside is depth is three, and then earlier outside is depth is two, and this is uh, depth one has each integer's value set to its depth. So basically here, the example that give, they give to you is the integer value here is also their depth. You, so you can see this number depth is one, depth is two, depth is three. So return the sum of each integer in the nested list the multiply by its depth. So it want you to calculate our total number. In this example, that we can look at the depth of this two is one, and then these two, because it's nested, so the depth is two, and then these two are nested as well, and the depth is two. So it want you to return our total number for the nested list, the number multiply plus uh, multiplus is uh, depth. So one multiplex two and one two, and then one two, basically you uh, multiplex and uh, add everything together. And then the total number is um, 10. So in this example, the depth is one, two, three, four, one, four, six, right? So, and then you can see this is 18, this is A, and this is one. And then when you add up all of them together, the total is 27. And this example, since the next list is one, it's uh, zero, then it returns zero. So there are some constraints here and it gives you integer and the max depth of any integer is less than 50. So you can take a look and this is a question asked by Facebook 101 times in the last six months. So it looks like a very um, frequent question asked by Facebook, you should definitely prepare for this if you're going for Facebook. And on the right side, you can see this is the interface that allow for creating nested lists and you should not implement it or speculate about its implementation. So what the here is saying is that it tells you that you have the uh, class nested uh, integer function. It has already have all these uh, functions defined for you below that class is is integer um, return true if the nested integer holds a single integer rather than a nested list and uh, the it will return true or false in this case and then it also give you a function to add a basically hold, um, set this nested integer to uh, hold a nested list and add a nested integer element to it. And then you have the set integer function, get integer function, and get list function. So the get integer function is written the single integer that is nested integer holds if it holds a single integer. So if it holds a single integer, you can use this function to get the integer. Return none if this holds a nested list. If it's list, it will return none. So for the get list function, it will return the nested list hold that is nested list holds if it holds a list. So basically return the list for you when you use the get list function and it will return none if this list holds a single integer. So it will return none if it's a single number. So 
if you look at this problem, the idea is that basically we want to process everything with this nested within this nested list, right? And an easy way to look at this is that you want to uh, go level step each level up and um, when you oh for example maybe it's an easier example to look at is this one so when we start processing we process the one first right it's our number so we can get this number um, when I look at this problem I think it, the easiest way to solve is using uh, the defer search recursively so at the beginning the total is zero right and then I want to start processing every single item in this uh, nested list and the first one is one and I will start the depth as one and then I will assign the depth as one after that I will check if this is an integer if this is an integer I will just calculate the number and mul uh, multiply one and add it to the total and then for the next layer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check if this item is a list if this is a list what I'm gonna do is recursively run that for search on the list basically peel the onion and going forward to another layer so the total in this case it should be after I get the list and the I, when I run defer search on the list but the def should be plus one because everything in this list like if you compare here the four six should at least have a depth of two beginning from four right so then when I run the defer search I want to make sure the depth needs to add one and then after I add everything together and recursively, I want to return the total number. And then um, it's if you have if you have the idea like you know how to do that for search, it's actually pretty easy forward, a uh, pretty straightforward. And I'm gonna show you how to do this um, in code. So I'm gonna define the uh, that for search, and I will say. Um, I'll pass two parameters and one is I'll say the list this list that I pass here is basically the list inside of the next list it could be integer as well right but I'm just gonna call a list for now but we know this is a list that inside of this nested list so this is the two parameter I passed and then I'm gonna do a total set a total uh, to zero <coughs> at the beginning so for every item in the list that I passed so basically I will set this to n then so for every single item in this list that I uh, passed I want to go through this for loop is I want to calculate each item so let's see we want to see if this is number is an integer so they have a function here is integer function that we can use and it will return true if it's hold or integer so we want to use this function if n dot if this n is integer if this is true right then we want to calculate the total so the total will be um n uh so we want to uh, used basically the total will be n multiplex the, the depth right and then I want to uh, look at here is uh, the get integer is that if I use this get integer function then I will be able to get the integer integer function get I'll get the number first and then I want it to multiply its depth so this is the total but that could be multiple um, uh, integers there right so I want to make sure it continues to add if it's at if it's at the same layer with the same depth as this first integer that we encountered it could only be a integer or a list so if it's not an integer what I'm gonna do is it's a list right I'm gonna calculate the list and the list total uh, will be 
So if that it's a list, I want to basically this is where the recursive part comes in. I want to run that for search on this um, this n, but I want to use the return a nested list that is a nested integer uh, holds. So return the list. So if it's a if it's a list, how do I calculate it? I want to run that for search on this list, but then the depth is that I mentioned to you is that if we go in one layer further, then you need to add one to the to the depth so that it get increased correctly. And then if there's a more layer inside it, then you're just going to continue to run the depth for search another layer, right? And then after the entire for loop, what I'm going to return is the total that I have calculated. So that's it for the defer search function. So then next, I'm going to call the defer search function. And the parameter that I want to pass in there to run is the nested list, actually. And the depth, I want to give it a 1 at the beginning. So it can start calculate for the integers. And then uh, when I call it, I want to return this value. So um, I think that that's it for the code. Yep, it's accepted. And if you think this is helpful, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.